Hey guys, Devin here with Lifetime Preparedness. Been in my car for a lot of the last few videos, but um, so what's the deal with uh, general preparedness and why are most people not partaking in general preparedness? Um, a lot of it really confuses me because so there's some people don't even have fire extinguishers in their house or a basic first aid kit a flashlight and batteries or candles and matches like what is your plan if the power goes out I there's some people like that who live around me and I live in New York so I live in the Northeast we have snowstorms all the time every year we at least get one snowstorm that knocks out power in a large portions of the state you know um, so why would you not have these things it's like people living in Florida. They do the same thing. Not everyone, obviously, but they'll go and they'll know they're going to have a hurricane every single year, yet they don't own a generator. Um, they'll buy one. A, a lot of people will. And then they'll just go and return them after the storm. I don't understand the point in that. Why not have the things you're going to need ahead of time? Like, okay, yeah, before a storm, you want to go grab a couple extra things. You want to grab an extra carton of eggs. You want to grab an extra car, a gallon of milk. Now, don't don't ask me why. I, I don't understand why when there's a winter storm here in the Northeast, everyone goes out and buys uh, bread, milk, and eggs. I, I don't understand. What, are you making French toast? Like, what's the point? What, what's so special about bread, milk, and eggs? I don't get it. Especially if you don't have a generator. I, I guess French toast is just the, uh, you know, the food for when the power goes out. But general preparedness is extremely important. And if you just have a general preparedness, your life will just be so much, um, swear to God, a lot less stress in your life when these you know, small events occur. It could be a hurricane, natural disaster, like a, you know, winter storm. Um, could be a tornado. It, it, you know, it, it depends on where you live and what you're going for. But um, it's always a good idea to have a fire extinguisher in your house, you know, batteries, flashlights, th uh, matches, candles, things like that. And if you take that and just expand upon, and I actually don't even think it's expanding upon general preparedness. I think. It is part of general preparedness to have at least two weeks worth of food and water in your house, um, or way you know uh, ways to purify water for two weeks, something like that. Um, I, I just think that's part of general preparedness, and you know, ninety-five percent of people aren't prepared for a two-week catastrophe in the United States. Maybe a, that number has changed since uh, the pandemic. That number could have changed. But, um, I don't know. I, I mean, before that, it was 95% of people weren't prepared for a two-week disaster to stay in their homes for two weeks. I think you should be. I th I, I, that's just general preparedness. And if you're prepared, you know, if you participate in general preparedness, your life will be so much easier. And you will be so much more prepared for everything else. I mean, seriously... If you're, if you have, if you're, you know, supplied and you can be good for two weeks in your home, you have a pantry of food for two weeks, food, either water filtration or water enough for two weeks, as well as anything else you might need for two weeks, batteries, flashlights without power, you will be more prepared than 95% of America. Just think about that. Just have two weeks worth of supplies for you and your family in your house, you will be prepared, more prepared than 95% of America. And that scares me because with the global food shortage, it, it, some would say it's already here. Um, I think it hasn't really affected us yet severely, um, but it is going to start as well as China. And I'm not saying people are going to start dying of hunger in the United States right away. 
Um, you know, there's potential for that, but I think it's more so it's going to start with rising food prices, severely high rising food prices. That's why I'm going to the store now. Uh, general preparedness will make a whole hell of a difference, you know, in your life if an event occurs, even if it's just a three day snowed in, no power, can't really go anywhere event. It will make such a big difference in your life. That's why I just went to the store and I cashed in my returnables. I didn't have a lot, but I brought some in. Got $9.85. I can get a decent amount of food for $9.85. Uh, let's say a box of pasta, it's a dollar. 85 cents, a dollar, something like that. I can go and get a, a thing of pasta sauce. I think that's up from 80 cents to a dollar. So prices are going up. So, I mean, for two bucks, that's a pound of pasta and a can of sauce. So, I mean, if I throw another dollar at this, I can get five days worth of meals. Well, sorry, five meals if I'm eating one meal a day. So I can get five meals for ten dollars and that's going the cheap route and and it's not even the cheapest route i i could go and i could spend a little more money and get a 50 pound bag of rice for 18 dollars and then i i could throw it with something whether it's canned chicken or i could throw some beans or some salt just some red sauce and i could throw that together and that is a lot cheaper but you can only eat so much rice though i am packing as much rice as i can away so guys um moral of the story general preparedness will make a huge, huge difference in your survival time, in your initial survival time anyway. Just having general preparedness, which in my opinion is two weeks worth of food, two weeks worth of water or ways to filter that water, you know, two weeks worth of hygiene products, including toilet paper. Two weeks, guys, two weeks. Um, to, you know, being able to have a way to heat your home or a room in your home for two weeks if your power goes out. Two weeks, a generator to power your home. Having two weeks worth of fuel to run that generator for, let's say, 12 hours a day. Two weeks. Guys, general preparedness is two weeks, in my opinion. So if you prepare for that, your life will be, you know, your percentage, your initial survival time is higher than 95% of Americans. Who wouldn't want to do that? I think a pantry should have two weeks worth of food in it anyway. At least, minimum. Before your long-term food storage, your pantry should have two weeks worth of food. All right, I'm going to get off. So if you guys want to show support for the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. That way YouTube can pretend to notify you because we've been having all kinds of problems with that. My family members haven't been getting notifications when I put a video up. So guys, make sure you check back at the channel. See that I put some videos up because I'm going to try to put uh, one or two out a day as much as often as I can because uh, we got a lot going on. And uh, you know, the more sharing we can do, the better. So uh, go ahead and uh, hit the bell. Subscribe first. Uh, like and uh, share with your friends and family. That way we can get the message of preparedness out there. The more people prepared, the less stress on us, the less stress on them, and the easier it's going to be for everyone. So uh, let's get out there and get the, a message out there. Share my videos, share other people's videos, just share pre preparedness videos. That way people can get ready. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.